have 100% of your money at risk. Like several other agents of Warren-based Financial Services of America that we've been watching do business across Metro Detroit, Executive Vice President Mark Verostik has no clue we're just down the hall. We're listening and recording the output of several cameras we've hidden in the house. 14% is in cash, but that's not considered safe. As often happens with this company, he wants her to sell all her stocks and mutual funds and buy what FSA so frequently sells, an annuity. It's a safe, long-term, guaranteed savings account offered by an insurance company for which he is an agent. And annuities are not always a bad choice, even for seniors. But to make the good? sale of the annuities FSA is pushing, we've seen how he and others from the company frequently fudge the truth and hold back other information seniors need to make a sound decision. It's the same kind of improper or outright illegal behavior this 92-year-old couple has alleged in a lawsuit claiming FSA swindled them into making a bad decision with their retirement nest egg. So aren't you normally the person of bad news? FSA Chief Richard David James was happy to schedule an interview with Channel 7 until he saw I would be asking the questions. I don't make you nervous, do I? Of course you do. Make a copy. Hold on. Huh? Making me a copy of those questions. No, Surely he knows no reputable news organization does that, not even for the president. So the interview is over before it starts. James, said to be a high school dropout who hopes his companies may rake in half a billion dollars this year, mostly on sales to seniors, he won't discuss all we've discovered about him and how his company treats seniors. Why do they do it? For James, the profits help pay for a very nice house out here in the village of Highland. Well, earlier this month, Action News was watching as his top salespeople were living large on vacation together at this resort in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. It's a big reward for those who have done the best convincing senior citizens here in southeast Michigan to do business with FSA. What kind of references do you have? And just how is it with a big lawsuit pending and so many allegations of misconduct on file with the state, just how do they get seniors to trust them and sign up for what they're selling? Well, on every visit we monitored, they boosted their own credibility by being on another television station's list of local experts. I know you're dealing with a very, I mean, Channel 4 doesn't make anybody their experts without doing their homework. It took us a long time to get there. About as long as it took their check to clear for paying the station to be named the area's only expert in financial services, offering all the expert advice you need, says the website. Thanks, Channel 4. WDIV is going to just say that about a company without checking on them? Well, I don't know. Well, I can news for you, they don't. And just so nobody's skeptical, in every visit we monitored, an FSA salesman pulled out this impressive looking letter that congratulates Richard James and his company of experts. As you know, it reads WDIV researches its local experts carefully to make certain all of them meet the very high standards we have set for the program. But the salesman who wrote it says the careful research did not extend beyond asking around inside the TV station. And the station manager confirms the list of experts is basically nothing more than paid advertising. And as a result of our investigation, he's now asked FSA to stop using the letter as an endorsement. A thorough check would have revealed several serious complaints to the state which might have sparked a thorough investigation, but apparently didn't. FSA is represented by a powerful and well-connected law firm, the one that went to bat for FSA associate Harold McDonald when he was turned down for a state license. A Dykema Gossett lawyer wrote this email that lobbied the state to help find creative alternatives to the outright denial of McDonald's application. The state refused, and the law firm now says he didn't really need that license anyway. Well, tonight there's evidence the problem we've been investigating here is happening to seniors throughout America, as documented by the Chicago Tribune and on the front page of the Los Angeles Times recently. I think that sometimes people get greedy, and I think when it comes to our seniors, people can take advantage of seniors, and I think that sometimes they tell seniors what they want to hear as opposed to what they should hear. Respected financial advisor Rick Bloom reviewed the advice FSA gave to our seniors and says it may well provide those salesmen with big commissions, but generally it doesn't well serve seniors. When someone you know, potentially invests $300,000 in one annuity product, you're talking about 30,000 potential dollars in, in commissions and also other incentives like the free trips. And that's where I find where there's a conflict of interest. 